Good evening, everybody. Thank you. Do I have your attention? Move that out of the way. Move that down to here. Can you still hear me? Yes, good. Right, I'm only going to take five minutes of your time, so please, for those aficionados of this conference, I'm not going to jump into the audience tonight. You are safe. I have no roving microphone. I have no tricks up my sleeve. Maybe one, but no tricks up my sleeve. So you can rest easy. So look, a very warm welcome to all of you. Um, I know you're keen to talk to your uh, fellow guests on your tables, uh, but it'll just be a few more minutes uh, before I'll be able to allow you to get back to your networking and to start dinner. So first off, I just want to reflect a little bit on the conference so far for me. So I hope you're enjoying it this year. It is bigger and better than we have ever had previously. And I want to spend a few moments just talking about why employee ownership is so important to me. As we know, we define employee ownership as being all employees having the opportunity to have a stake in a business where this is combined with a stake that's accompanied by significant and meaningful engagement in the way in which the business is run. Employee-owned businesses create profit with purpose. They put people at the heart of the organization and have a mechanism for employee voice to be exercised, normally through um, mechanisms such as a council, a board, or employee representatives. They offer a higher level of transparency and sharing of knowledge and information, so employees can take responsibility in helping to drive performance and therefore benefiting from reward. Many of the most severe problems that have afflicted our UK economy in recent times stem from failures of organisations who show excessive profit chasing, failures of accountability and low levels of employee engagement. These damage many British businesses and undermine their capacity to deliver value for customers and high quality jobs for their employees. The negative consequences of short-term profit maximisation for society and business have become ever more plain over the last 10 years. Few businesses are ever set up for the purpose of maximising earnings, but sadly, that's often how they're later run, especially after founders have retired, and despite the fact this has a negative consequence for businesses and their various stakeholders. Two values associated with employee ownership resonate with me. Patience and well-being. Taking a longer-term view of the future and a more rounded view of people in the workplace means that employee-owned businesses are more sustainable and accountable. Patience and well-being are key values at the heart of the employee ownership model. To describe them as values is not to suggest they're simply rhetorical add-ons to profit-maximizing entities, but rather that they're values in the same sense of the term economic value, measurable entities to be invested in and grown, but which have spillover benefits for society. The connection between the two and the relevance of employee ownership in this lies in the place of profit in society. Profit and happiness are both things which are best pursued obliquely. They tend to be best achieved by focusing on things um, which are other than those which they are as outcomes. Hence, profit-maximizing firms and self-interested individuals tend to neglect the very activities that deliver what they're after. In both cases, enduring and dependable relationships are the most valuable resource whether for making money or achieving happiness. They build resilience. They're good reasons to believe that employee ownership offers a means of organizing businesses which makes them far less liable to fall into a mindset that privileges quick fixes and greed. This doesn't simply mean that our businesses are nicer than our shareholder rivals, although some might be judged as being just that, it certainly doesn't mean that we are less businesslike or less well managed. What it means is we operate with different concepts of efficiency and value, which rest on more nuanced understandings of both time and the human dimension of work and productivity. 
We don't make saints of managers or employees, but rather create obstacles to the human temptation to maximize personal gain and to duck out of difficult situations. Collaboration and hard work become harder to avoid. In this sense, my view is that employee ownership is a commitment device that really empowers people. And of course, this evening is all about celebrating that commitment device through the Employee Ownership Awards for 2019, either as an individual, as a team, an organization, or a sector. And it's probably a good moment for me to introduce my word for the EOA wall, which is empowering. I noticed someone else put that up as well, so well done you. That's my word, which will go up there later tonight. So we're celebrating 40 years of the Employee Ownership Association, but there's another entity which is celebrating 40 years this year as well, um, which I thought might create a bit of a theme and a segue as we enter into dinner. And that is that it's the 40th birthday of Trivial Pursuit. Now, Trivial Pursuit was first conceived on the 15th of December, 1979, by two Canadian journalists. It's now sold in over 26 countries. It's made in 17 languages. And so why not have the EOA version of a Trivial Pursuit quiz for the tables? I'm not jumping into the room. You have your opportunity. So we have got six questions under geography, entertainment, history, art and literature, science and nature, and sport and leisure, which are going to get flashed up behind me any moment. What I would like you to do, I can tell the excitement is raising. Please contain your excitement. What I'd like you to do is I would like you to, uh, as a table, work out what you believe the answers are to these questions. I'd like you to agree those answers with your fellow table guests. And then I'd like you to tweet the answers, starting the tweets with your table number and then tagging at employee owned. It's like herding cats at the moment. Come on, people. Shh. Contain. Um, and hashtag EOA40 quiz. You've got till 9.30 to submit your answers. And there will be a winner which will be selected at random and announced by Martine later on this evening. And every member of the table will receive a small prize. So, is that clear? Brilliant. OK. So, two final things before we finish. I'd just like to send my own personal very best wishes to all of those who are in the running for one of the 2019 UK Employee Ownership Awards tonight. Very best of luck. And last but not least, enjoy your dinner. Thank you.